hi everyone welcome back Ooh, to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new so it's absolutely peeing it down with rain so i've just done a try on for my previous video and i thought i'd come on and just show you a few more bits i mean there's loads there's a few vintage hauls coming as well soon and some more closet clean out videos thank you so much for the response on the clean out video i know it was only a little bit but we keep going and we'll keep um moving stuff out because i keep bringing it in and that's who i am and yes i am quite sentimental about stuff but i can't help it so we move <laughs> Okay, so first off we have, no surprises, a dress, don't have one like this, just a little button front dress, originally from m &S in a size 10, so this will be from my favourite pound, um, shop Sue Rider um, you'll see better in the try on after it's had a little steam I'm hoping to get the try ons done today while it's raining again so that I can have a few videos ready to go for you right so here's the dress um, I hope the lighting's okay because I did the um, whole part of this video weeks ago um i lost my dog and i've been hand rearing her puppies she didn't die because she had puppies someone poisoned her but that's a long story so anyway i'd filmed the whole video ages ago i'm just going to film it like this on my phone for today i'll go back to putting the thing up but i just wanted to get a video out for you so this needs an iron but this is the little dress on um really comfy um really sweet little ditzy print and i think i could transition this through to the autumn with some boots um but yeah i really like this and then i picked up a shirt so it's just a short sleeved shirt i'm undecided as to whether I'm going to re, I think I probably will refashion it into something else and just put it in my fabric stash. But I like, it's almost like a cheesecloth. So I like the feel of that one. And that was a pound. Okay, this is just the men's shirt. I just love an oversized shirt. Um, but I was more thinking I'd leave it open over a bikini on holiday because it's a lovely fabric. Um, I might even see if my fella, if it fits him. I mean, it's a bit oversized on me and he's, yeah, he's not a big bloke. <laughs> so we'll see. But I really like it. And then... I've still got the tag on this one. So this is a pound from the Sue Rider. Little cream short sleeved cardigan. I just thought this was perfect for holidays. Or if we actually get some warmer weather again. Um, it needs a good wash. But I really thought that was cute. It's um, cotton blend, I believe on an acrylic no idea where it's from made in the uk so could be vintage maybe okay this is the little knit top i've just popped it on with a pair of shorts at the moment i don't think i'd style it like this uh the buttons only go to there so this is going to be ideal just over a little dress when it's warm um because obviously it's quite a bit longer than this. I'll just pull it out Ooh, to show you. So a bit longer, but I might take this on holiday with me 
to put on on a night time um but yeah i've got a couple of these now i really like them and then another knit another summer knit um i just like putting these on with denim shorts really um for you know when it cools off a little bit but this one's originally from select in a size 10 and again from my one pound two riders charity shop and then this little holly top uh, i think this was um perfect for cooler evenings um shorts denim shorts just easy and to throw it on so and this one is for my good old 25p rail at cats protection it's just boohoo um nothing to write home about it's just a little um play suit no it isn't a play suit i'm lying it's a little dress with a little tie at the front um it's really lightweight so you'll see that better in the try on they've got it advertised like as a small but it's a it's a bit larger than a small so we'll see but for 25p so i'd give it a go okay so what do we think it is a size too big and it is a bit big but because i've been able to tie the front been able to pull it in a bit more um and i actually quite like the fit it's nice and airy um so and i feel really comfortable in it so it's definitely something that i'm gonna wear so yeah And then I picked up this top. It's originally from Next in a size 14, but it's Plisé. And I just love the fabric and the material. So yes, this is, I already know it's too big. Um, but I'm thinking of making a little two piece, hopefully, out of this two piece for the beach. Um, watch this space really i keep saying that um my sewing machine's going off to be serviced and done and then i can get cracked on okay so i picked up this blazer it is a peter worth blazer it's in a 36 men's um it's 100 percent linen blazer so I'm going to get my partner to try it on because he's only small, but if not, I'm going to add this to my summer blazer collection because I haven't got one that's checked. Nice and neutral. Um, I'll try it on so you can see, but yeah, really like that. That was a pound again because for myself, I don't pay all my partner. Pick more than a pound. Okay, this is the blazer. Um, I absolutely love the fit of this. It's not too small. The sleeves do fit, but I just prefer them a bit rolled up. I'd actually like to pick out the blue a bit more in this. So maybe if I could find some sort of blue tailored type shorts, I think that would look a lot better. Um, but yeah, I really like this jacket and I might lend it to my fella if he's good. <laughs> then we've got a nice, easy little throw on dress. So just a, I saw it first, just basic dress. So I throw these on when I'm working, to be honest. It's a pound, um, just pop it on with some trainers. Um, nice and easy 
Okay, this is a little stripy dress. Um, I just wear this literally just dossing around the house or around the yard or just easy to throw on. A little pair of, I've got a nice little cute pair of Air Force ones with pastel yellow and pink. So I just chuck that on. It is a bit sheer, but I don't care. <laughs> And then I picked up this men's shirt for a pound, orange cotton shirt. Again, this one will go into my um, fabric stash um, because I think this orange check would go quite nicely in a smock dress with some contrasting colours, what colours. I just like to pick up the sh like cotton shirts in different patterns and fa not fabrics but different patterns and colours and just stock up on them especially for a pound. And I'm just going to show you this one on. Um, yeah this one might just get chopped up and made into smock dress with some other contrasting colours or I don't know I could, yeah I could wear it like this um watch this space or maybe not watch this space I don't know we'll see but I love it anyway and then I picked up this shirt it's a Gabriella Vincenzo in a 10 to 12 this was in the pound but the cross means that it's 50p but i liked the crinkle fabric on this shirt the texture it is only polyester but i just looked, i thought the texture was different now i could wear it as it is but We'll see, I might change it. Okay, this is a little textured shirt. I've just popped it on with this white skirt. I've got another skirt underneath it because it's quite sheer. I really need a satin mini skirt. Midi skirt, not mini skirt. Um, because... This textured and this textured, I just don't, I think I'd prefer it if it was just a plain midi skirt, um, but I'd definitely wear it just like this. I am not bothered. I've had four kids. I don't care about showing a bit of uh, yeah, my wrinkle. I'm not bothered. Um, but yeah, definitely think I need a... Um, plain uh, skirt and then I'm not sure if I showed you this or not so I'm just going to show it again because I don't think I did but I picked up this so it obviously must have been a tablecloth in the past embroidered tablecloth of some description or table runner I think tablecloth, I think it was a square one, but someone has refashioned it, someone ember, into like a little kind of shrug type thing. Now this is the type of thing I do, um, so I can appreciate this. Um, needs a good steam, but I wasn't going to leave that behind. Just the fact that somebody's put all that effort into embroidering it in the beginning. But yeah, there's that. And then there's a men's tie because I have a collection of men's ties. And this has got horses at the front. Um, I think it's a, well, I definitely know it's a vintage tie because the telephone number 
doesn't even have a one in the telephone number so I can't remember when the one was added whether I remember it or not but I think I do when it turned from to everyone had 01 instead of just 04 so yeah there's that and then the last thing that I'm going to show you is another blouse so this one is cream blouse with this blue embroidered fronts it's a country casuals so it is a granny brand so this was salvation army i wouldn't have paid two pound it'll be when they had a sale okay so this is a blouse I am going to have to have a play around with how I'm going to style it. Um, I put jeans on, but I don't think, are, don't think these are the right jeans. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to have a play around with it. But I absolutely love it though. I just need to save it till I'm old. <laughs> uh, or just have a play around a little bit, but I will. I'll get there. So that's all I'm going to show you in this lot for now. Hopefully get these tried on. And I might do a vintage haul next just to mix it up because I have got a couple more charity shop hauls because I keep trying to do them into sort of 10-ish items. Um, and like I say, more clear outs to come. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.